Hello people of the interweb, how are you today? Notice anything different? Hmm? Yeah... It doesn't show too much, but uh, for those of you who are used to the appearance of my Z750, you'll have noticed that my windscreen has changed. Duh. Um, yeah, I've done quite a few mods to my bike. I promised you, as you can see already, there's the top case. And then there's this, which is quite a bit higher and should protect me from the wind. It's the first time I've, I've just installed it. And like an imbecile, I've nicked the fairing right there. But, you know, I hope it doesn't... Because it's a, a small crack. And I hope it doesn't open. The thing with this uh, windscreen, um, this is a French company that makes um, plastic parts for motorcycles. And the thing with this windscreen is that it was made for this bike and the ZRX10 or something. Um, which makes it uh, not fit perfectly. So there's this kind of space there that's not entirely filled whereas it was filled completely with the um, stock windscreen but yeah it should because the the goal is to uh, to transform that Z750S into more of a touring bike because I want to do more kilometers and I'm you know expecting the Euro meetup in September and I want to I want to get there in style, so yeah. So that's what it is. And then uh, the top case itself, very very easy to to mount. Um, as you can see, that the passenger handles have been taken off and replaced by this. This actually ties up under the uh, saddle, and it's also tied to the foot pegs there which was a pain in the ass by the way to, to take off because uh, I think you know five years into position it's it's very hard to take it off my chain is in a terrible state look look at how gross this is this is terrible and you see there's the red indicators that are saying basically change me change me quickly otherwise I'm gonna break so I've taken a, I've yeah, an appointment at uh, my garage so that they can do that. And uh, also, I fitted this um, temperature gauge. Uh, that's the old temperature, and uh, obviously, it's uh, it replaces the filler cap and um, gives uh, a good indication of of what the te temperature is the thing is though it doesn't really give me the real temperature because uh, you know I'm not stupid it's not a real it, it's a real gauge but it's not positioned correctly to give me the right temperature but it gives me uh, an idea of if my bike is hot enough for me to ride or too hot or uh, you know so I'm just checking the oil level yep that's good. I've never had to 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 fill to put more oil into it. I guess my driving style is kind of relaxed. Uh, let me show you how it's tied under there. Uh, yeah, wait. Oh, it's yeah, because I used to see where the the key thing was, but now it's become quite boring. Ah. See, that's where it's tied up there. Obviously Z750S, not much space to put anything there, but you know. And also, I've noticed today, while doing that, that someone tried to nick my bike. Look, see that? Someone tried to get in there, open this. This was loose when I opened it. And uh, to take the, the tank off, I guess they were trying to access the electronics for this immobilizer. Um which is quite scary for me to be honest but uh 
you know so what I'm what I'm gonna do next is install a an alarm on this thing because uh, as far as the top case goes I bought this 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 costs like an additional 25 euros or 30 euros but it's you know my lady's comfort is priceless and uh, yeah it's a good good top case really not the best quality out there but it's uh, safe to say that it's big enough for uh, two two helmets look that those are the passenger uh, handles there very heavy stuff very well done stuff we're very well made this and the thing is it was really really quick uh, to install Ah oh, shit my fingers really quick to install so I guess you know I could give the sporty look of this bike back whenever I want because uh, it doesn't take much time is this recording yeah cool okay is this recording in the correct position too yeah fantastic okay so uh, this is the first time I'm I'm gonna ride my bike with the new equipment and I'm gonna try to go on a highway so uh, I can really test the fairing the new uh, windscreen I hope that it'll work and give me the uh, expected wind protection and I'm also gonna see if this creates uh, too much wind resistance so it's going to be a good test and uh, I guess I'm not gonna talk through it all but uh, I'll give you some conclusions maybe on the way so off we go